Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. I have been solving math problems out of this book here, Practicing to Take GRE General Test, 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. The problem I'm about to solve is the one that you're going to find on page number 228, contract to comparison question number 11. GRE 10th edition. Let's take a look at it. This, we are given this information. X plus 2Y plus Z over 2 equals Y. And we are asked to compare X versus negative Z. Let's see what we can do here. There are a couple of ways you can solve this problem. You can just plug in numbers or you can just solve it uh, classically, algebraically, because the algebra is actually not too bad. So let's do it here. If you multiply both sides of this equation by 2, if you multiply both sides of this equation by 2, you can get rid of this 2. And what you end up here is x plus 2y plus z equals 2y. And since 2y, since 2y appears on both sides of the equation, if we, if we were to subtract 2y from both sides, it drops out. Subtract z from both sides. Subtract z from both sides and we end up with x equals to negative z. You see? x equals negative z. These two columns are equal. That's all. The answer is c. The answer is c. Of course, it would have to be c. Of course, x and x and z would have to be equal and opposite in sign of each other because if you look at it, I'm going to rewrite this thing here. We are told that all of this equals y. Now we know that we know that uh, 2y over 2 would reduce to y, this is y and this is y. Therefore these two will have to cancel each other out. The only way they can cancel each other out is they are of the equal value but of opposite sign. If x is 5, if x is 5, z will have to be negative 5. And if x is negative 15, then z will have to be positive 15 and so on and so forth. They have to be equal to each other and opposite in sign, which is what this is, x equals to negative z, which is same as saying z equals z equals to negative x, same thing. That's what it is. If they were opposite, they were equal in, as I said before, only really two or three times, if they were equal to each other, x and z, if they were equal to each other and opposite in sign, then x and z will cancel out each other and you'll end up with 2y over 2, 2y over 2 is y, of course, right there. That's the only way you're going to. That's the only way you're going to get this this part, this expression to be equal to y. That's all. You could also plug in numbers if you want it, if that's what you want. But uh, this is this is another way of doing it. There is no need to plug in numbers. It's a very simple, straightforward problem. Actually, maybe not that straightforward because only 40% of the people who took this exam got it right. 60% missed it. 60% of people missed it. You can also plug in numbers and it will work. Yes, it, will, it will work just fine. Just plug in some numbers there for the variable x, y, and z. But of course, you have to plug in a number in such a way that the whole thing actually makes sense. I hope you found this helpful. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring or if you wish to buy the solution manuals to these problems, in either case, go to my website at www.prep, P R E B prep, F O R 4, G R E dot com and send me an email. Alright? Thanks.